And it really, you know, I mean, like, it's funny, but it's also sad for us because I, I know she loves North Carolina so much. And, you know, I love her and want her to be here for this. So um, if you could film this and email it to me and just say, um, uh, could you clap for Carlene? Because she is really beautiful. Yeah. Did, did I really think I could bring the, the kids together? And I mean, yes. <laughs> I still think I can. <laughs> Especially because we're not going to film it. Um, you know, the thing is, Ray is a complicated guy, and Dave is a complicated guy, and they're sometimes willing to show up unannounced at pubs and sing songs, and sometimes they're not willing to submit to interviews from you know, people putting in requests through the formal channels. And so, you know, I always thought, and I talked to everybody who was associated with Ray, producers that made his last records, friends, everything, and they all said, hey, you know what? He might be turning you down now, but he could call you up tomorrow and say, hey, you know what? Let's do it. So I always waited for that. But what the rule that we had was not to wait forever. <laughs> we might never be here. <laughs> So what did uh, they say to you when you turned on the camera? I forgot. Oh. I'll never tell. Okay, so uh, your wife is having a baby, and uh, the obvious question is, are you going to name it Ray? Uh, no, no. I can't actually share the name of the baby. We made a rule about that. But it's not Ray, Dave, Nick, or... Is it Rob? Might be Pete. <laughs> Did my daughter like the lobster? You know, the thing about that is, 
Uh, my daughter hates lobster. <laughs> she's never, ever wanted lobster. And so I'm just glad that she said that for some unknown reason. I mean, we didn't put up to her, she just said it. And as soon as, as soon as she said it, we thought, that's, that's good. I mean, I don't know what it means, but it works. And, you know, luckily, having a director who actually thinks that way, I mean, I thought, she doesn't like lobster, but Ralph thought, now we have an ending. <laughs> Screening in Boston on April 24th, and I'm not sure what happened then. But I, um, you know, I mean, I have my job. I, I, I earn less, and uh, you know, it's a challenging industry. I mean, we know that about you know life here. I mean, every newspaper, except for the giant behemoth New York Times, are just swallowing up everything and making deals with Apple. Not that I care. Um, <laughs> It's a struggle, you know, and you just hope that you can survive it because I love being a newspaper reporter and I love writing for a living. I don't know what I would do other than that. Have Ray and Dave seen the show? Uh, they've seen many shows. I'm not sure they've seen this. No, I'll tell you, Dave has seen it uh, because um, he had to approve part of it. Um, and uh, he proved it. I mean, he, I kind of got like, I didn't get a direct answer from him, it was kind of mixed, but I mean, if he didn't like it or despised it so much he wanted to stop it, he could stop his part, I guess. And Ray has not seen it, but I know his assistant has it, and uh, he's actually, it's a funny thing because I've given, um, you know, to put music by the Kings into a, a, a movie and not get arrested, you have to license it and you have to pay them and the writer, Ray Davies, in most cases, has to approve personally. And uh, we went through a very lengthy process, but it happened, and I wrote a home equity check. And uh, <laughs> what's funny is that Ray has been, he goes to different cities now, and he's sometimes playing the same city as we're playing a festival. And the Cleveland Play Dealer, for example, asked, you know, Ray, you know, have you seen the movie, and what do you think of it, and uh, what do you think of Jeff Edgers? And he said, uh, never heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> I really like I like what you did when the, you had the tirade against the union guy in Boston. It's in stereo. <laughs> <laughs> We're purely mono. Well, I mean, I don't really want to talk about money, but it was about one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. <laughs> And uh, twenty-five thousand dollars was probably in uh, licensing of clips and music, and fifteen thousand dollars was our interview with Paul McCartney that he blocked us from using. Oh. We're not supposed to say that, though. Sorry. <laughs> you weren't supposed to say that. Jeff.